During the daily use of a personal computer, have you ever encountered a serious problem like system crash, blue screen of death, and virus attacks, which result in an unbootable hardware? So a protection is always necessary to keep that from happening. The system backup option Isus to do backup home can help you with that. It offers the option to create a system image onto an external drive, CD, DVD, or a NAS network drive. It also allows the recovery after any vital system error happens. First, I'll show you how to create a system backup with our software. Just click on System Backup here, then the configuration page will appear. Browse allows you to select a specific path to keep the image file. Here I select E drive in my computer. Schedule option here can help you create a task which will run automatically on a regular basis. To know more about this, just search the keyword Schedule Backup in our system. After everything is configured, click Proceed to start the job. The requested time depends on many factors like system performance, hard drive status, and the use space of C drive. So please just be patient while it is running. In addition to the image file, a rescue disk is also necessary to boot the PC when it becomes unbootable. And we support a CD, DVD, USB drive to work in the rescue disk or recorded WMPE bootable disk. When any serious problem occurs and system restore becomes necessary, just collect the bootable disk you created and log in by setting to change the boot order. For desktop, you may continuously press the L key right after the PC powers on. While for laptop, it usually would be the F2 or F8 key to log in BIOS. For a normal boot order menu, it usually contains hard drive, CD, removable device, and network drive. Just make the USB drive into the first place because we use USB drive as an example here. Then press F10 and reboot the PC to start booting a rescue desk. Hold several minutes until the WinPE screen comes out. Now just click on Browse to Recover or the Recovery button in the task record to locate the image file and start the recovery process. If this is a scheduled backup, it is also allowed to roll back to a specific time point among all backups. After that, decide which hard drive you want to recover to. Make sure you selected the correct drive here and the recovery process will wipe the existing partitions on target hard drive like this caution message says. Then starts the recovery process. Okay, if you still have any other questions about the system backup and recovery, just feel free to contact us. Thank you very much for watching.